Hello, today I am going to start, I am going to discuss about the, how to trim the raw sequence. After getting the sequence, we check the quality of the sequence. So after that we need to trim the sequence. Trimming means what? We will trim out all the sequence that is unnecessary for us. Suppose here we can uh, select two parameters mainly. One is quality score that is also known as thread score. So we can select a minimum thread score above which we want to take the sequence and below that thread score we will discard the sequence from our raw sequence data. Generally we can take 20 thread score and also we can select out the length of the sequence we want to take. Suppose if we have done as we discussed in our earlier video, we have done 2 into 150 paired and alumni sequencing. So we can select the minimum length of 50 base pair. Below that, we want to discard the reads from the raw reads. So after that, we will get our trim sequence. After that, we can use the trim sequence for further purpose or assembly or market discovery and all these things. So today I am going to discuss about how to trim the raw sequence data. For that, we, I used the tools called Trimomatic. For that, we can use the online server known as Galaxy. So here you can see the Galaxy. For that, you can type on Google Galaxy tools, Galaxy, Galaxy software also you can write so you need to go to this site i will give you this link also go to galaxy after going galaxy you have to upload your data last day i show you the raw sequence data in fast queue format that come in forward and reverse that is r1 and r2 so from here you have to upload your data then from here you have to choose from a local disk click here and go to that folder in my case it is desktop test data and select your data you want to upload select select these two data r1 r2 mean forward and reverse sequence then you can open them so it will show like this windows after that from here you have, you have to start uploading the data in galaxy server okay let me start then as you can see we started okay i have already taken the data so i will not do it again so i'll show you the data after uploading so here you can see the data it is uploaded here okay previously i have done this one so you can now use this one okay so so how to trim our data it may be single end and also parent for paired sequencing in the left side of galaxy server there are different tools you can use for analysis your data for trimming you have to go to first QC quality control okay then click on here here you can see there are different tools also you can use but I used and I suggest to use the Trimomatic that is cited by many researcher in their research paper so you click here after that you have to choose what type of data you have here in my case it is paired end sequence so we can select this one from here okay so so paired end means you have to give your forward sequence and reverse sequence here in my case forward sequence elimina r2 dot first qc and eh, sorry this one r1 uh, for reverse is r2 we have to select r2 okay
now you can see we have two data that we have uploaded that is forward r1 and r2 okay for trimming the data you have to go to the first qc quality control from here you can select the software the tools demomatic so now you open it as our sequence is paired and sequencing so you can select paired end so for that you have to take two sequence one forward one reverse okay so we have our forward sequence here r1 and r2 and most important thing is that what type of this parameter you want to set for trimming your data here you can read different parameter you can select for trimming your data so you can read what is the different meaning of difference this type of parameters so generally i choose i choose this one drop reads below the specific length we'll discuss we can select here then 50 we can select after that again another parameter you want to use inside the stimulating operations then select other one select this one i select this one drop the reads which quality average quality is below the a particular value generally i select it to 30 so last video i as i told 30 means there is a probability of error one in thousand okay now we have select paired and sequencing we give two sequence r1 forward r2 reverse and with that we selected the operations based on your needs you can also change the different parameters we can use but i use these two you can use also you can cut out some base from the starting because in the start the sequence quality may not be good you can choose the thread score also there you can read all these things here below it is available after that you have to execute that click here execute so it will start your operation you can see the progress of your know, program in the right side corner okay now it is running based on your internet speed it will run okay let it run so after run is completed you can able to see the completed program uh, files it is now trim data it is written here these two paired you have to this is your forward this one is your reverse so you need to concentrate on this yeah you can download this too for this for downloading your data click here here you can see all the parameters you choose here after that you can uh, download it from here you can save it in your pc so now you will get your trim data for forward and reverse sequence so you can use that data for further purpose but we need to see that we should not lose huge number of data from your raw sequence because if you lost more data you may lose your different information about your sequence so we can tolerate up to five percent loss of your data not more than that so if you see your data is uh, lost uh, too many so you need to check out the parameters you your stringency condition you have to reduce so that you, you lose your less data so it is very important and uh, the quality of data also should be very good for us to know so i have made a previous video about the quality check using first view software i will give the link you can go to it and thank you for watching